Hey there friends, we are back again with another exciting episode of the AOP Plus Print On Demand Academy. Today, we are talking everything about email marketing because if you are not making 20, 30, or even 40% of your revenue from email marketing, you are not doing a good enough job. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you today how you can set up your Clavio email marketing software, integrate it with your store, and start making those extra email Bucks. So let's get into it. So friends, if you hadn't already gathered, we are going to be using Clavio, which is our favorite email marketing software. It's also one of the most popular ones. There are other options. The principles will be the same, but the setup process might be slightly different. So to get started, you can either go to the Shopify app store, search for Clavio, or you can click the link that's below in the description. And once you've installed that on your Shopify store, the setup process is pretty easy. So my store here, send a name, my online store, send an email address. We're just going to zip through this. Okay, so this is gonna be your store information. It's gonna help you. It's almost like a setup wizard. Okay, it's always gonna ask you a couple of survey questions. Don't worry too much about these. We just wanna earn more revenue. So it's sent an email to activate our account. So once you've gone to your email, confirmed your email, it'll open up in this dashboard, this nice looking clean Clavio dashboard. So I'm gonna give you a really quick tour of this and then we're gonna sort of dive into some of the more important settings um, and you know emails that you need to have set up on your store. So I'm just gonna close out of these tips. Clavio themselves have great support and tips and training and whatnot that you can go through but let's just close that for now. So what we're looking at here is a campaign is like a one-off email, okay? So it might be, you know, a, um, a special event. It might be it might be Halloween or it might be, um, you know, Veterans Day or, or whatever the occasion is. And you want to go in there and just send a one-off email or you might just want to do a special sale on a particular product. So just one-off emails and campaigns. So what you can do is if you go into campaigns, you can create a campaign, email or SMS. We're not gonna cover SMS today, but that's a great thing about Clavio. They also do SMS. So you can create a campaign. When you come in here, you just name the campaign, choose who you want to send it to, okay? I don't have any uh, people on this list for this store. This is my demo store. But you can see there's a heap of these, what's called segments. So that's like different sections of your email list. And that's getting a bit more advanced. We're not gonna go into that today, uh, but this is a great way you can use this powerful email tool to really segment your buyers and make sure you're hitting those engaged people. So we might just say, okay, we're going to send it to new subscribers. Again, this is just a email campaign and we continue to the content. And this is where you can choose drag and drop, which is probably the easiest. I recommend this. So if we pick that and you'll see it comes in here, you can either just go basic and have a one column, two column, just these basic looking emails, which I like to start with sometimes, but there are also lots of themed pre-designed emails that you can pick and you can obviously put your own branding on them. So that's how you do a, uh, or that's how you initiate a campaign, but we're not gonna go into that today. You can play around with that in your own time. What I wanna show you now is just move on to what's called a flow. Now these are your automations and this is really where the money is going to be made because you want to be able to set up uh, these automations or these flows, which is what Clavio calls them, uh, set and forget. That's that's really what you want to be doing. So you know that your emails are working behind the scenes whilst you're doing other stuff, trying to grow your stores, managing your ads and all that type of stuff. So what we've got here is what's called a welcome series. Now, I highly recommend you set up a welcome series. I'm going to show you how the, um, how the email flow dashboard and how it all sort of works, but I just want to give you a bit of a overview of these. So a welcome series is essentially, um, you know, they, they've got templates here, but something that is going to warm up 
your um, prospects or your customers when they first get onto your list. Now that might be telling about the brand, answering common questions, frequently asked questions, anything to kind of build that trust and you know make them sort of know, like, and trust your brand. Okay, abandoned carts, really, really important. I've actually done a whole tutorial on this, which I'll make sure pops up on the screen somewhere around me here if you wanna check that video next. This is when people go to the cart, they add something to cart, uh, they go through the checkout process, but they don't complete it. Then they start getting hit with these abandoned cart emails. Very, very important that you have these set up. Now the next one I love, which I don't see many people using, is once someone is on your email list, you can actually track them and Clavio will know if they go and browse your store at a later date and look at a particular product, but don't buy anything, this can shoot off an email saying, hey, noticed you popped into the store, did you love this product? What stopped you from buying? Anything like that. So it's like a uh, a reminder, or it's like a you know, it's it's sort of rekindling that love with your customer. They've gone and looked at something. They are already on your email list. That's why you've got their information. And Clavio will automatically send off an email to them and say, "Hey, you were checking out this T-shirt. Did you want to finish purchasing it?" Um, you know, and things like that. So that's a great little uh, flow that you definitely need to have set up. A customer thank you. Now, if you're using Shopify, you'll know that Shopify always sends an order confirmation, but also what you should do is send a thank you. So the next day, thank you for your order. Here's some important information about your order. Plus, did you know VIP such as yourself get an extra 10% off any further purchases. So right there, you can upsell them uh, and they will go and buy something else. You'd be surprised how many do. So this customer thank you is great for so many reasons. Now we're not gonna keep going through all the different flows and ideas, but they are really the main four that you should have in place. So now something that's really important is what we call sign up forms. Now we definitely need to have something like this on our e-commerce stores, our print on demand stores. You absolutely must be doing this. Don't be afraid of uh, having pop-ups. They are very good at helping you grow your list and obviously um, you know, bringing in that extra revenue, just use them properly. So in here, you'll see there's lots of different templates already done for you. Okay, so something like this one's quite good, a subscribe for coupon. You'll see if you want to dive more into multi-step email or SMS, you can. Clavio has everything you need. Now, I like this one to start with, but again, it's gonna be different for everyone. Sometimes having a name is also better. It's a stronger uh, quality lead or contact, but then sometimes just get grabbing an email is good enough. So we're not gonna go into the strategy of that. That is something really that you need to test over time. Okay, but we're gonna start with this. So we wanna do a subscribe for a coupon. Okay, so you can customize the name here. You can choose a list that you want it to go on to. So you might just say newsletter or you might create a new list. We're just gonna put these people on the newsletter list. You may want to um, create an actual list for this. You know, say, call it a 10% discount list so you know kind of where they came from. Okay, we're gonna create form. Now you see here, it opens up a easy drag and drop design. And now this is how you also uh, design all of your emails as well. I'll just zoom out a little bit there. So this is actually how all your email templates are designed, which is really good. So you can just change this 15% off. Um, you know, I might say this one here. When you join our VIP list right now, okay? So you can play around with the design. You might put your logo there or one of your products or something like that, all right? So, uh, and this is here, it's just the email. You can change the colors, everything, all right? So it's fully customizable. So let's assume that you've got your design looking right. You know, there is, you just play around with all that, spend as much time as you want doing it. Don't spend too much time, you're better off just getting it up and running. What you do need to also consider is if we go go back, you'll see we were just in this little style thing here over here, just go done. 
You need to also set your targeting and behavior, okay? So you can either show this on page load, you can uh, show this based on rules, so when a customer is exiting the page, that one's not bad, um, or you can say show five seconds after page load, uh, or show after scrolling 30% of the page. Now, exit intent pop-ups are less intrusive. I don't personally like to show it as soon as the page loads, uh, if I'm going to not do an exit intent, so that would mean that someone's mouse scrolls up to the top like they're going to exit or switch to another tab and it pops up. Um, I usually give them sort of 10 or 15 seconds there uh, for the page to load or after they scroll 30% of the page, okay? So, um, and again, you can play around with this. Uh, typically, I don't like to do it as soon as they hit on the page, but you can put a little bit of a delay. Then you can change it up for desktop and mobile. All right, again, there's heaps of tutorials online. Big experts and gurus like to comment on this. Everyone's got a bit of a different opinion, but the whole point of this is to show you what's possible and you know have a look as well at other big e-commerce stores and see what they do. And then you can try testing their strategies too. Now let's just say in this case, I just want to say, do a, it's an exit intent, all right? What you need to do as well, let's say we've got all this design looking good, you need to go here to the success section. And this success section is like the thank you. And what you should do here to save people having to go off your store and go to their email looking for your email to get their coupon, make sure you actually have the coupon code here. And here's another huge tip. Set up that actual coupon code in your Shopify store, okay? That's back in the settings. So whatever you said here, we originally said 15%, didn't we? So make sure your little thank you, your success message um, is true to what you offered in the first email opt-in step. Then we want to say, you know, I love AOP Plus, whatever. Uh, you know, keep it something simple. You might instead say it's VIP 15. All right, this is the discount code or the coupon code. Make sure you set that up inside your Shopify settings as well. Very easy to do, but just make sure you do it. Otherwise, the code won't work and this will go to waste because people will get upset, their code doesn't work, they won't end up purchasing. Uh, but they will then enter your abandoned cart flow because you'll have already set this up, I would hope. So that's how you do it. Now, over here, you might not see this on the right-hand side of the screen. There's a little uh, thing that says draft and live. You need to also set it to live, okay? Publish and publish. And that'll take, it takes you over to your Shopify store, but you don't need to worry about installing any code or anything. It's already done. All right, so I've come back into my dashboard here of Clavio and I've gone into flows. Now I want to set up a welcome series. Now this is going to be the same principles for all the different types of uh, flows that you want to set up. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through each one, but I do want to just show you how this little flow builder works. Okay, so this welcome series set up, let's just say that I want to send it to people on the newsletter list, because if you remember that little pop-up uh, that I created sends people or adds people to the newsletter list. Now, I should probably change that to something different like the, you know, VIP 15% discount pop-up list or whatever. But for the purpose of this, we know what we're doing. We know who these people are. And when we go in here, so when someone, someone subscribes to newsletter, so this is the trigger. So what that's saying is these individual emails here are going to start sending when this event happens. So, so that's great. And what we want to do is straight away, this one is going to send, thanks for signing up. Now, the best thing to do here is to go edit, then you can actually edit the email. And you can see this is very similar to what we're looking at before where we built that pop-up. Um, we'll just go, not now. So you can sort of delete these in this image here if you want, delete the block. Uh, this one here, you might say, here's your discount code, discount code. And then here, we might go use VIP 15 to get your exclusive discount. And then you might say, here's some information about us and how cool we are and how we can help you. So what I'm the point I'm trying to make there is that 
create this email. Um, you know, it is it is a welcome email and a thank you for joining our list and here's your discount. So create that, um, you know, with a bit of love and a bit of thought behind it. Again, look at what other big brands are doing. You can use some ideas there. Save content. Done. Now this here, you can say the subject line, preview text, who's sending it, okay, and the email address. You might want to customize all that stuff. But when we click done, we go back to this flow builder. You can see here the first email, let's just assume that's all done, we're happy with everything. You actually need to push it to live. This is something that uh, a lot of people forget to do and they wonder why things aren't working. So right now, if someone enters their details in that discount pop-up, they're going to get added to the newsletter list then they're going to get this first email. Now, if we want to continue this series, which I highly recommend you do, you want to then say, okay, here's a delay. If you want a delay, you can say, I want to send this to someone one day later. And then we go in here, follow us on social media. We can go over here and click edit and edit that email. And then you can just keep going, keep building. So this here, you can go clone this step. <clears throat> Drag that down there. Then you can clone this email and drag it down below. You can just keep going. And like I said, make sure once you've done each email, you click on live so it is actually going to start sending. So there you have it, friends. There is a super duper crash course on how to get started with Klaviyo and your email marketing and all the really important automated flows that you need to have set up. Now I did do a specific tutorial on this YouTube channel about the abandoned cart flows. So you'll see that on the screen next to me. Make sure you go check that out. And as always, please like, comment and subscribe. We rely on your support and your feedback so we know what topics you want us to cover next to help you sell more on your print on demand store. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.